Hello everyone, Sigmalator here. Welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. Let's head back upstairs. Uh, how are my strike teams doing? Oh, I, I, did I not send you because your chances of success was like really, really bad? But it's looking good now, so off you go. Hey, what about you? 91%, off you go. Off you go. No rewards available, can't do anything more with that for now. Uh, AVP, how are we doing? Don't have any more pod points. Got a lot of stuff, so that's good. Well, I can buy some minerals, but not platinum, which is what I need. I can make the helmet. Right. N7 helmet. Made the highest one I can. Right, chest. You... Bastard. Right, what about legs? Can I make the legs at least? I can make the legs. Okay, I have my helmet and I have my legs. What about my arms? What do arms need? Arms need more uh, platinum. Right, so what do I need for the chest? Uh... Right, see you. I need copper. I need. So I'm going to need at least 40 platinum and a load of copper. Right. Right, could I buy copper? No, not you. No. Alright, never mind. I shall make it my mission to find some copper. To ride us, Sloane Kelly, come to Gadara ASAP. Oh. I, I, I just left. Now orbiting Gadara. Uh, well, we're already here. Well, I can get some copper here. Right. See what Sloane wants. What's this about Sloan? I'm very busy. I mean, I could have fast travelled here, but I keep forgetting that's a thing. Mind your damn manners. Shut up. What do you want? I'm busy. Where is everybody? I told them to get out of my sight. Take it someone pissed you off? The charlatan used my own people to beat up Kytus. 
He's alive. Barely. The charlatans are using Kaidas to put you on edge. I know that. I didn't call you here for a pity party. Why did you call me? I'm not exactly your favorite person. The charlatan left a note on Kytus's body. He wants to settle things between us. Meeting spot is in Drowlea. Could be a trap. What do you think? I can't trust my own people, but you... You're an outsider. And honorable. The charlatans had plenty of time to act. Why make a move now? I ignored the Collective for too long. Thought they were just another ragtag group of upstarts. Now they're bold and dangerous. What happened to Kytus is on me. I've got to end this before it gets worse. Are you with me? I'll watch your back. Kadara's fate will be decided at this meeting. I was hoping it wouldn't come to this, but... Hey, shit happens, right? Meet me at this location. I'll go on ahead. Uh, yes, I think I remember how this goes, and I already know which side I'm on. Shame about Kaisers, though. He's a bit of an ass, but he's all right. All right. I think after this mission we can put a settlement on Kadara. Oh god, I can't believe we had to deal with these loading times. Yeah. We've been spoiled by SSDs. Right. Give me my nomad. Where are the coordinates? Oh, okay. I not even need my nomad. Alright, maybe I do. Imagine it well. Took your sweet time. Come on, let's get this over with. I'm with you. I win. I said it before, I don't like you, Sloane. You look like you're waiting for someone. <gasps> Reyes? Reyes is the charlatan. I'm here for the charlatan, not some third-rate smuggler. They're one and the same. Surprise. The Angaran spy. Your interest in the Rokar murders. Everything you've done has been to undermine Sloane's power. Death by a thousand cuts. You said you wanted to settle things. How? <clears throat> a duel. You and me, right now. Winner takes Kadara port. 
You want to avoid war by shooting each other? Two people shooting each other is better than a lot of people shooting each other. I'll take those terms. Sniper, his sights are set on slow. No. Get her out of here. Prepare the crew. Kadara port is ours tonight. Guess you got everything you wanted. What I want is peace. Sloan would have brought war to Helios. We don't have the population to survive that. Is Reyes even your real name? It's what my mother called me. <laughs> <sighs> it's my real name. I only lied because I didn't want the rumors surrounding the charlatan to taint your view of me. Your reputation does precede you. It's a gift and a curse. So what now? I get to work. Kadara port won't take itself. All right. Is there anything in this cave that I may have missed? I've ju I just ended up leaving. All right, never mind. All right, Sloane is now out of the picture, so. There we go. Let's go have a chat with Reyes. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure Reyes is the one you to go with because it makes things easier between. Uh, it makes things easier getting a settlement established here for the initiative. They're all gone. Yeah, I figured he might be in his private room. Did I read that data pad? What's this? Oh, yeah. Thought you'd be in the throne room. Tartarus is a little shabby for Kadara's new leader, don't you think? Come on, Ryder. You know I prefer to rule from the shadows. You are a shady bastard. <laughs> Guilty as charged. The Angara you met at Sloane's party, Kima Dorgan. She's agreed to be my front. And with Sloane gone, there's room for the initiative on Kadara. I'll start rounding up volunteers for an outpost. Might take a while. You exiles have a reputation. Not all of us are thieves and murderers. I am, but some of the <laughs> others are perfectly nice. Perfectly. Jokes aside, I want this outpost just as much as you do. It will have my full protection. That's a promise. I allied myself with the right man. What's this? It's a handshake. We're partners now. Partners and friends. Yes, I got my outpost. Right, now we need to head back out. Pathfinder, Kadara is now a viable option for an outpost. The Badlands still aren't exactly safe, but with the Collective's protection, we should be okay.
All right, let's go settle Kadara at bloody last. Thirty-three percent viability, and this should push it to a hundred. Viable for an initiative outpost pathfinder. Here we go. Confirmed. Calling outpost. Amazing. This may piss off as many people as you manage to feed. Director, I trust you're enjoying the show? I'm enjoying the progress. The show part is something else entirely. Honestly, an outpost on Kadara, where the worst of our exiles stake their claim? You better be sure about this. We can't turn our backs. The initiative failed them. You weren't there, but you're here now, and it's your call. It's a win, and we'll take wins wherever we can get them. You need to do this again. Another step forward, but of course there's more. There's always more. Time for the public address. Think you can distill something motivational out of this? Something to sell Kadara? You'll actually run it? I may have concerns, but my ledger has one more outpost than it did yesterday. Sell it. We trained for years, but when we reached Andromeda, everything changed. The dream almost died on worlds like this. But we can rebuild it. Bring stability. If there was ever a world that needed our best, at their best, this is it. For posterity, Pathfinder. Addison out. Yay! And viability 100%, and I will take that model, thank you. Ah, there we go, now I can place a receiver on Kadara. Anyone here I need to talk to? Doesn't look like it, but we'll let's have a little wander around just to make sure. I've located a suitable site for an HNS receiver pathfinder. Nav point is set. Cheers, Sam. Hey, you're Vetra's boss. How do you know Vetra? You one of her contacts? You could say that. I used to work the stock rooms on the Nexus. Let her know I set aside those regulators she wanted. Would have sent them earlier, but got busy with the move. Were you there during the uprising? Oh, I was there. Barricaded myself inside one of the stock rooms. Total chaos. Must be strange seeing the exiles again. Tan took the out of sight, out of mind approach. But that's never worked in my experience. So. You're the requisitions officer. That's my official title, yeah. But I take care of any odd jobs that pop up. Scrubbing, cooking, whatever I can do to help. That's nice of you. Keeps me busy. I used to work the drill back on Mars until I messed up my hand. I was lucky I didn't lose it. But the nerves never healed right. Em, do you have everything you need? Oh yeah. I swear, the Collective can get their hands on anything. They're even more reliable than Vetra. Hmm. See you around, Drew. Keep fighting the good fight, Pathfinder. I won't tell Vetra you said that. You might be annoyed. Yep. Professional Envy, I think it's called. That's where we were. Another one over there. Anyone in here who wants to have a chat?
Doesn't look like it. Fair enough. I'll head upstairs. Maybe they want to have a chat. Hello. Good work. Here's the size. Christmas Tate. Well, if it isn't the Pathfinder, welcome to Outpost Detayon. Christmas Tate of Mining Company 7 at your service. Christmas? Is that a nickname? <laughs> Afraid not. My old lady, Holiday Tate. Had a sense of humor. It's certainly a conversation starter. Things going well? No one's been shot in the back, which is more than I expected. You have doubts about the Collective? I don't like making deals with people flightier than ghosts. I'm an honest man who likes working with honest people. That's the kind of influence Kadara needs. Glad to hear you think so, Pathfinder. Anything else to report? Well... There's this cult. A cult? Seriously? They're harmless, but the thing they worship, that's what worries me. Some kind of massive machine. They call it Old Skinner. Could be nothing, but their leader, Bishop, went to pay tribute and hasn't come back. I'll check it out. Better safe than sorry. Appreciate it. You look like you've been around the block. That's one way of saying I'm old. That wasn't... Hey, at 61, I've come to terms with my age. I'm the oldest of the outpost leaders, but I'm also the toughest. I didn't come to Andromeda to die. The opposite, actually. Deteon. Interesting name. Does it mean something? <laughs> it's an inside joke among the company. Deteon is a temp name we pitched for our outpost block. It's actually an acronym. Stands for Deploy in the Ass End of Nowhere. <laughs> I like that. Exiles giving you any trouble? We've actually taken a few on of the non-outcast and collective variety. The uprising was ugly business. A lot of normal people got caught up in it. Glad we can provide a second chance. You said you're with Mining Company 7? Best damn ESO miners on Mars, until the ground dried up. Putting your skills to use on Kadara? You made the water potable, but there's still plenty of sulfur in the bedrock. The director wants to use the stuff to make fertilizer. Carter can tell you more. Just, uh, don't sneak up on her. Thanks for the update, Christmas. Anytime. Uh, Christmas Jones from Bond. Now we've got Christmas date. It's, yeah, we're, we're getting there. Relax. Okay, and where is that thing about... Right. Of, of course. Of course you're over there. Right. First up, let's go put this receiver up. Oh god. Can you behave, please? Look, do you see where the wheels are turning? That's the direction I want you to go in. Oh, there we go. Oh, jeez. Here we go. Elias News Service now broadcasting live. Right. 
Right, you're done. Right. Let's go see what the trouble over here is. Remember, I need to go this way because it won't let me go up the mountains. Because reasons. I think there's our guy. Great one. Turn your gaze upon me. Accept this tribute. Reshape the world in your... Wait! G great one! Wait! Ah! Ah! Got attention. Let's report back to Christmas. Oh, look, it's an architect. Yikes, architect sighted! All right. Stuck on. do about that unfortunately Stop that. It's creating reinforcements. 
course it is. One leg down. Get it before it's gone. I can't do much about it right now, PB. Two legs down. Go after it. I'm on it. Don't worry, PB. This is not my first rodeo.
was that close fuck's sake oh why isn't there a drop zone around here that would have been ideal then I could have actually uh, stopped up and reloaded quicker All right, let's try this again. Then I can be off Kadara. I'm sick of this bloody planet. Wait, big fella, down here. That's what it's doing. I thought it was going to fly off. to follow it somewhere first rider can't let it get away here we are that's my health
Come on. Yes. Yeah, we're getting there, all right. Can you maybe don't? Alright. Oh, yeah. Fuck. How? How? Can you not? No, I'm behind a rock, you cheating fuck. Reloading. Are you making babies or are you going to open your leg up? Reload rider, Jesus.
Why did you fall down over there? Oh, these bloody architects. <sighs> Nexus threshold 14 unlocked. You've gained one crypto crow pod. Yay. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Good work. God damn, these architects are no joke. Right, let's head back here, tell Christmas about his guy, or the cult person, whatever. Accidentally stopped the recording instead of pausing it. You haven't missed anything, don't worry. Good for you. Just let him happen. It's good for Murat. Pathfinder, how's it going? Old Skinner is no more. I heard. Shame about Bishop. He was crazy, but a good worker. Thanks for the update, Christmas. Anytime. Alright. I just had to check the previous recording. Got We've got about ten minutes left, so... We're pretty much done on Katara, I believe. Or Kadara, rather. Alright. Let's get back in the Nomad. Back to the Tempest. And see how many other people have missions for me. God damn. I should probably look into upgrading my weapons, thinking about it. Might make these architects a bit easier to deal with. Permanent data cores. Ryder, Liam's looking for you. Is he? Right, let's go have a chat with Liam then. Update on Kadaya. I've ordered visible and some not so visible patrols to guard your outposts. The outcasts have already mounted a few attacks, but nothing we couldn't handle. As promised, I'll do everything in my power to keep your people safe, Reyes. Cheers, Reyes. And PP Ryder. Okay, so just for fun, I decided I'd blast the remnant data core with energy to see uh, what that would do. First, use the battery of the Nomad. Don't tell Gil. Nothing. Then a Mass Effect field. Biotics. Cora helped. Still nothing. And then I took it to Jal and made him do his bioelectricity bio thing, jackpot. The entire thing lit up. I caught it all on my Omnitool. Ever see synapses firing? It was like that. I mean, this data core is almost like a tiny remnant brain. So that's cool. Not sure how exactly I'm going to apply this to getting all the data, though. <laughs> RPB. You have AVP outstanding, Pathfinder. Hey, Park. Don't worry, it's just me. All right, let's go see Liam. Right, where is Liam? In his little spot. All right. Genophage basically destroy our people and they get a pat on the back and a seat on the council. And what do I get? A medal. A medal? From who? My buddy made one out of a piece of scrap and pinned it to my chest. Still got it somewhere. Hmm. Liam? You're working pretty hard. All the time. Started young. Smart little kid. 
Got angry a lot. Side effect of giving a shit. Liam, what's going on? We found that facility on Vault. Kicked them in the teeth. Great. But the cats steal what people are. Everyone should have a stake in that. So I reached out, trying to get resources moving in a real way, bridge that gap like I did with Jar. I can't get permission coming or going. The Nexus, Aya, everyone is all. Can't take risks with outsiders. I didn't come here so everyone could be goddamn outsiders. You're taking on a lot, making all of Helios your problem. It is our problem. We're not going back. We have to make it work. I wanted this. Everything new. But eventually, it... It has to be normal. I need something... familiar. Can I show you something? Did you bring anything... from the Milky Way? One or two things, but the weight limits were real strict. I know. That's why I made arrangements. <laughs> it's a proper petrol burner. 20th century. British. From when that mattered. My whole family worked here together, weekends. <laughs> like those are a thing in space. Know what we did? Friends and Hustle set us up good. They borrowed us a transport right before I went into cryo. And me and my father and mother loaded our car into it and pointed it at Andromeda. It's a nice gesture, but you know you won't see it again. Oh, it's, it's a couple million years away at standard light. The important thing is, it's coming. And always will be. I don't know what that means. It means your family, the Angara, this team. We're all lucky you care so much. <sighs> I'll probably screw it up, Pathfinder. Join the club. The screw-up started 600 years ago. <laughs> Truth. This will be home. It has to be. I won't let being outsiders stop that. Well, good. I put a damn shirt on. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's take a quick look at the journal. Remnant data cores. Yeah, still need to find a whole bunch of those. Right, we've got priority. New world. Eladin hunting the Archon. Allies and relationships. Vetra. Oh yeah, got her loyalty mission. So we've got Cora's loyalty mission. Here's a gate anomaly on Eladin. UBC secret project on hold. Wait for Peter to learn more about the Remnant. Okay, that sounds like we're getting there. Speak to the Moshai on Aya. Talk with PB at the museum on Aya. So yes, still need to go back to Aya. Kadara. Travel to Surveyor's last known location on Drula. Maybe I need to... Uh... Is that the... It looks like that's the very last thing to do on Aya. All right, fine. Uh, Kadara rather. Right. I'm sick of Kadara, but if this is the last thing we need to do on Kadara, let's get it bloody done. We'll get it done this episode. Screw it. I don't want to spend another episode on bloody Kadara. Oh, the architect husk. Tracking a remnant architect. Okay, now I've actually highlighted that mission. Maybe I'll actually be able to find it.
Right, down to the slums. Oh yeah, I, meant to, I was going to see if I could upgrade that. Damn it. I keep getting sidetracked. I say I'm like, need to do this, so let's get that done. And then something shiny pops up and I have to go and look. All right, here we go. Over there. Are you in a cave? Is that why I couldn't see you before? That would make sense. It is in a damn cave. This place is massive. Detecting high levels of toxic gas. Proceed with caution, Pathfinder. Hey, I'm always cautious. Careful. It'd be easy to get lost in here. Me? Lost? Never. Is an asshole nearly broke my toe searching for the, for the generator octans. Is that a generator? What's it doing all the way out here? It appears to be powering the floodlights. Well, yeah, but who put it here? The surveyor? That would be a lot of equipment for one man to carry. Better find something cooler than a dead end. Ah. Another generator and more lights. They lead to something? I would imagine so. Otherwise, what would be the point? Okay, this was the surveyor's last known location. Got a dead guy over here. Uranium. Uranium. The surveyor. Who did it? Outcasts? Collective? Random exiles? Gravity. What? He broke his neck, probably from trying to obtain barite samples. Wow. That's kind of embarrassing. Sam, download his data. We can at least deliver that. New entry, found the perfect site to, uh, to take a bite sample for Dirk. A little high up, but I've got steady feet. Well, how did that work out for you? Oh well. 
He has been found. We have finally found him. Pretty. It's not bad, is it? What's this? Someone's approaching. Stand down, they're allies. Welcome, Pathfinder. Wasn't sure if my understanding with the charlatan had filtered through the ranks. Even our lowest operative knows to leave you alone. You must have done quite the favor for the boss. But that's none of my business. Crux is in charge here. If you need something, speak with her. All right. Speak to Crux. Oh God, I found more to do on Kadara. Why? Joe canisters. Thank you. Hello. Are you a new recruit too? No, just happened to stumble on this place. Oh, you're the Pathfinder. Crack said we're to be nice to you. I'm new here, still trying to take everything in. Why join the Collective? I lived in Port my whole life. Then Sloane shows up and demands a protection fee. My family was still reading from encounters with Ket. We couldn't pay, so the Outcast banished us to the Badlands. The Collective promised us protection and a chance to get back at Sloane. So I took it. It's worked out well, I think. I'd say so. See you around. Yeah, don't mind me, I'm just stealing all your shit. Ooh, data pad. It took a while, but this place is really coming together. We've got ourselves a proper hideout down here, and the shuttles keep coming. No idea how the Charlton finds all this salvage. Elodin, maybe. I hear they've they've gone tons of they've I hear they've gone tons of scrap. I think it's meant to be got tons of scrap. Still, that's a long way to bring sheets of metal and supplies, but hey, not my credits. Fair enough. Silver linings kind of guy. I can appreciate that. Alright, Crux. The mysterious Crux. Must be you. Hello. Pathfinder, I'm Crux. I represent our common acquaintance. You've got a nice setup here. It's a bit musty, but offers the privacy we need. I'm afraid you've come at a bad time. We're having some internal disputes. Someone's been faking the charlatan's orders, giving bad intel. It got two of our recruits killed. Someone impersonating the charlatan could do a lot of damage. Only the representatives have access to such high-level information. The boss knows it's someone operating out of this base. It's my job to find the culprit. So what's the holdup? The imposter could bolt at the first sign of suspicion. I need a subtle way to smoke them out. Why would someone risk impersonating a charlatan? Greed is a powerful motivator, Pathfinder. The Collective has access to supplies, credits, you name it. And we only answer to one person. Maybe I could help? My alliance with the Collective is new. Getting to know its members shouldn't raise suspicion. That's true. All right, Pathfinder. Here's what we know. The drop point was in the Sulphur Springs, so the imposter should have high levels of sulphur in their clothes. Sam's sensors should be able to detect that. Anything else? We found footprints that could be human or Asari, but too smudged to get an exact size. That's all my intel. Great.
Username Crux. New recruits, new batch of recruits are headed your way. Put octons on them. He did well with the last bunch. High sulfur levels, but the footprints at the drop site contradict to Solarian's webbed feet. Just being thorough, Sam. Sulfur levels are normal. Not our culprit, then. Didn't peg the collective as gardeners. Sulfur readings are low. Additionally, Angaran feet are distinct from humans and Asari. Can't hurt to check. Oh, there's someone else. Ah, hello. Sulfur levels are on the high side, but not by a large percentage. And she's Asari, which fits her footprint bill. Can't rule her out yet. She's worth further investigation. Uh, yeah, I... Shouldn't be in here, Pathfinder. Didn't think torture was the charlatan's style. First off, what the boss doesn't know won't hurt him. And second, I hardly call this torture. Just persuasion. Whatever you say. I was afraid you were gonna argue semantics. The Collective do this a lot? Lock people up? Beat them? We ask nicely first. It only goes badly for the stubborn ones. Why are these people locked up? Because they deserve it. That guy set off a bomb near the slums, then tried to blame it on us. They're filth, Pathfinder. Every last one. That's all. Good. I've got to get back to work. Hmm. A friend and ally the human Pathfinder has come for a visit. Show him the respect he deserves, or there will be consequences. Damn right. All right, and there's someone else over here. Sam, what's inside the cages? Judging from the scratching, Hardy. Sulfur levels are high. Her footprints are of a similar shape to those left at the drop site. Could be our rat. Before accusing Dorado, perhaps you'd like to talk to her. She could have an alibi. Need something? Go bother Crux. You're a testy one. <laughs> Sorry. Haven't slept in 36 hours, thanks to another shit job. 36 hours? That can't be healthy. Defying the charlatan's orders isn't healthy. I go where I'm told. You've never been tempted to manipulate your boss's orders? What? What do you mean? You know, fudge the intel, use the collective's resources to make a profit on the side. I don't know what you're playing at, but I'm done talking to you. Mm-hmm. Dorado's heart rate spiked when you questioned her about the charlatan's orders. The lady doth protest. Yeah. What about you? Hey, Lynx. Sorry about before. Not much traffic down here. Recruits are jumpy. You didn't shoot. That's all that matters. You're awfully good-natured about people pointing guns at your face. 
Some of us have been down here for months. I haven't seen the sun in weeks. Weeks? Seriously? I'm one of the few people who know how to operate the water filters. I've been trying to train a backup, but most recruits can't stand the smell. Not many volunteers. I'd better get back to work. Thanks for the chat. Mm, that would explain her sulfur. What do you think of Lynx, Sam? Her explanation for the level of sulfur in her clothes was plausible, Pathfinder. So uh, Gerardo is the one. Fair enough. Pathfinder, any luck finding the imposter? Gerardo's clothes showed high levels of sulfur. When I questioned her loyalty to the charlatan, she became frantic. You asked her outright. I said to be discreet. Aquila, detain Dorado. Dorado? She's gone. Said it was on the charlatan's orders. Damn it. If the charlatan finds out, I let her get away. I'll take care of it. She can't have gone far. Oh, damn it. Right, you happy so now? I've scanned it. The Ardhi. It appears the collective are attempting to domesticate the creatures. And how's that going? Aggression levels are lower than what we've seen in the wild, but I wouldn't recommend opening the cage. I wish that fly would fuck off. Croxus Rider. Did you find Dorado? She ambushed me. I had no choice but to take her out. Would have liked to question her, but at least it's done. Thanks, Pathfinder. All right. Dead end. Boring. Maybe there's another way? Right, maybe now I can finally get off this damn rock. Right. Which way do I need to go? This way to the right. Is it that right? No. Caves are annoying. There we go. Down he goes indeed. Oh, 
God, I only wanted to spend 10 minute, more minutes on this just to make up the episode count. Not an extra half hour, Jesus. Right, first thing I want to do before we wrap this up completely, I want to go back here, go and talk to uh, the charlatan standing, you know, just to see if there's anything interesting there, and then we'll end it. Assuming, of course, it will even let me talk to her. You never know. Oh, God. <sighs> that sounds like he has a mission for me. I don't know. Thank you. Howdy, yo. Pathfinder, it's good to see you again. You've done well for yourself. What's the human expression about having friends in high places? The charlatan and I agreed it would be mutually beneficial if I was the face of Kadara Port. Was it always the plan for you to take Sloane's place? It was a requirement for my cooperation, yes. As Sloane's Angaran representative, I had more access to the outcasts than the average Kadara citizen. Also, I could rally the Angara to the collective side. I take it you know the charlatan's true identity? I'm one of the select few. I told him to tell you earlier, but he worried about what you'd think. It was adorable, really. <laughs> How's the mood in Kadara since Sloane's death? I doubt we'll ever achieve unanimous approval, but my people are happy to be under Angaran rule again. Sloane made a lot of enemies, even among your people. It's a welcome change. You're not worried people think you're a figurehead for the charlatan? My ass does more than just sit in this chair. The charlatan listens to me more than Sloane ever did. The outcasts have disappeared from the port. Not completely. Kytus is still moaning in the holding cells. But the others have scattered. I'm told there's still plenty in the Badlands. Watch your back. Many blame you for Sloane's death. What will you do with Kytus? The safest option is to execute him. But the charlatan thinks he's worth something. Oh? He was Sloane's confidant. The charlatan won't kill him until he's learned every dirty secret. I should be going. See you soon, Pathfinder. Alright, and with that, I'm going to end this episode here. Clearly we are not done with Kadari yet, but we're getting closer. But anyway, thank you for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma Later, this has been Mass Effect Andromeda, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now.